Hi, it's Miss DiLorenzo from Project Elevate, and today I'm here to teach you the brain dance. The brain dance is meant to wake up the body, activate the mind, and really get the mind and the body working together. And it was created by Anne Green Gilbert. The very first thing we'll do is take some nice deep breaths together. So inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, let the breath go. Inhale, open up the lungs, fill up the body with breath. And exhale to release through the belly. You can start to build that breath bigger and bigger. You can start with small, little shallow breaths. And then get bigger. Get your whole body into it. And let it go nice and slow. Awesome. We're gonna pull all of that energy into the core of our body, right in the center of our belly. So give yourself a nice tight hug. And then as you inhale, reach and stretch out and expand like a big star. Exhale, hug everything into the center line of your body. And then inhale, expand out in all directions. You can try to work your balance a little bit here, hugging in. Inhale, reach and stretch out. Maybe stretch your legs forward, your head back, your arms back. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Maybe balancing on one foot, leaning the heart forward. Come back together. Squeeze one more time. And then reach and stretch out like you're waking up in the morning, waking up all fingers and toes. And then come on back together. The next piece we'll do is we'll isolate the lower part of our body from the upper part. And so keep your legs nice and still, your feet grounded, your legs like tree trunks very, very sturdy. And then your upper body is free to move and bend as you wish. So maybe you want to make curvy lines with your arms. You can move your head in all directions. You can do a big swirl around in a circle and then go back the other way. Maybe you can roll the shoulders. Maybe you want robot arms. Whatever feels groovy to you, as long as you keep the lower body nice and still. And then your upper body is going to remain still as the lower body gets to play. So you can start to move your legs around. You can do one, then the other. Try and keep the upper body nice and still. It's such a challenge, because I know my shoulders and my head want to get into it too. But see how many different shapes you can make with your legs and your feet, keeping your upper body super, super still. Walk the feet apart, bring them back together. Maybe a little bounce in the knees, keeping the upper body still. And then come on back to stillness. So now we're gonna draw a midline down the center of our body from our head all the way to our feet. We're gonna isolate the right side of our body and let the left side move freely. As many different shapes as you can make with the left side of your body, keeping the right really still. So again, you can get really curvy with it, you can do straight, strong lines. You can really press your toe into the ground or sweep your foot around in circles and maybe even balance on the right side. Woo, that might take some practice. And then the left foot grounds, left arm really super still, and your right side of the body is free to move and groove as you want. Really rolling the shoulders, sweeping the foot back and forth. Maybe finding that little bit of balance. And then we can tap the body. So we want to wake up the skin. You can tap to the beat. Now you can bend the knees. Really get the whole body involved. Little taps on the face. Waking up the skin on your face and your forehead. Waking up the skin on your scalp and your belly and your thighs. Tap all the way down to your knees, maybe even down to your toes. Make sure you bend the knees so it doesn't strain. All the way up the body, to the hips, to the belly, to the chest, to the face, very gentle, and the head. And then you can brush away any negativity, any types of feelings of self-doubt or nervousness that you might be feeling from the day. Imagine that you could just sweep it away. Sweep it away. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Brush it off the hair. Maybe you're having a bad hair day. Not anymore. Just brush off that negative energy off of the hips, off of the thighs. Woo! 
much better. Now we're gonna take a nice wide stance. Separate the feet and separate the arms. And imagine you have a spaceship or a shooting star in your right hand and look at it, really see it. And then fly that right hand across the center line of your body to the opposite knee. Land it right there on your knee. Inhale, reach back up and stretch. And then check out the left hand. Fly that left hand, that spaceship or that star all the way across your body. Land it on the opposite knee. We're gonna go a little farther this time. So now take that spaceship in your right hand, fly it across the body, the opposite foot. Bend your knees if you need to. Follow the palm with your eyes all the way across. Back up to center. And then try it with the left side. Another little fun move that I love to do when crossing the midline, it's called the sprinkler. You guys probably know this one. One hand on the back of your head, palm out, follow that thumb as it bounces all the way across the body. You can bounce the knees, get a little funky, a little nod in the head, and the opposite side. Just work your sprinkler, keep looking at that thumb as it bounces across the body. And then you can just go it out too. Just following that pointer, following that index finger as it goes from one side of the body to the other. Couple more times. And then we'll find stillness. So now we're really going to work on our balance by turning the body around the axis, the middle line that runs down the center of our core. So I want you to reach up to the sky. Imagine plucking a star out of the sky and the star can be any color you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a traditional star. Take that star, close your eyes, and just imagine placing that beautiful, brilliant star on the crown of your head. And as you place the star in the crown of your head, your whole crown lights up with whatever color you've picked. And then just feel the star drop through that center line of your body, all the way down to your belly, drawing a line all the way down to your feet. Seeing that beautiful, brilliant color just light up the center line of your body. And keeping the eyes closed, keeping the gaze inward towards the middle line, let's try to rotate on the center axis of our body. We'll go twice to the right and twice to the left, nice and slow, keeping absolute control. Gone twice in one direction, go right ahead into the other direction. And then point your heart back towards my voice. Get nice and steady and grounded in the feet. We'll take a couple more deep breaths just to wake up. Once more, getting ready to start the rest of our day. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, start to open the eyes, keeping the awareness inward as you also place your awareness on the things that surround you. Inhale, opening up, filling up with new, fresh breath, feeling the belly expand. And then as you exhale, bring the arms down by your side. Just feel the whole body from the toes up to the crown of the head, nice and awake, but centered and focused at the same time. Hope you enjoy this brain dance. It's a wonderful thing to use through transitions, the beginning of the day, or a way to send off your students at the end of the day. Have fun with it.